there was a time when the mere mention of this town's name was enough to set people laughing. To comedians, it was a gag with a built-in guarantee. Late and buzzard, they'd say, and people would roar with laughter. <laughs> but not now. Leighton Buzzard is no longer just a sleepy little market town with a funny name. Its full name is now Leighton Buzzard and Linslade. Trade, market and industrial. I think it's a town with a, a great potential. As I say, it's been primarily a market town, but there is an industrial estate here, one which is growing, one which I think must grow. It's the biggest transport area in the country. But, um, no, I feel that I would like to see it remain a market town. At the same time, I would like the industry on the outskirts so that we can get the benefit of both worlds. I've lived here for 19 years and uh, more industry has come into it, but it's still more a market town. So there's nothing here. I mean, there's no shops hardly. There isn't an awful lot of big industry around here, and the, the um, town like us seems to centre around the market. The market day brings it alive. The electrification of the railway, which will be completed this year, will bring in a lot of new faces to Leighton Buzzard and I think it's a place which is going to change considerably. The new name came about after a visit by the Boundary Commission which said that it was time for a change. There was controversy of course and there still is but now Linslade has moved into Bedfordshire. The Commission considered the Little River Oozel which for centuries divided not only Leighton Buzzard from Linslade but Bedfordshire from Buckinghamshire. Administratively, geographically and industrially, the move was inevitable.